Moments ago, we learned there has been action taken by the Attorney General William Barr after the death of accused sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein. Barr has appointed a new leadership team at the Bureau of Prisons. Epstein killed himself inside his New York City jail cell. Brian Yanis is live for us in our New York City newsroom. So this development is brand new. Tell us about it. Yes, it is brand new. So the director of the Bureau of Prisons is now out. That is Hugh Hurwitz. Hugh Hurwitz was the acting director of the Bureau of Prisons since September, was since May of 2018. Hurwitz took over for Mark Inch, who had resigned as Bureau of Prisons, and he had served for just about a year as well. So now you're talking about three Bureau of Prisons directors in the last two years. The new Bureau of Prisons director is now Dr. Kathleen Hawk Sawyer. She was the director of the BOP from 1992 to 2003. She started as a psychologist in the BOP, and she is now coming out of retirement to lead the Bureau of Prisons. All of this stemming as a result of what happened to Jeffrey Epstein at MCC. Attorney General William Barr saying there were serious irregularities at the Metropolitan Correctional Center that allowed for Jeffrey Epstein to hang himself in a suicide, according to the autopsy report. So we shall see what will come more from that. All of that happening, Harris, as there is now new video from the Daily Mail from 2010 in December that shows Prince Andrew, the Duke of, of York, inside of Jeffrey Epstein's New York City mansion as young women are coming in and out of the home. Now you can see in the video, which we do not have, but in that video I'll describe it to you. You can see Prince Andrew opening the front door of Epstein's Upper East Side mansion and the prince is seen waving goodbye to a young brunette who's seen leaving the home. And moments before that, Epstein himself is seen leaving his Upper East Side residence with a young blonde woman. The video shows three young women coming and going from the house and to that, Buckingham Palace releasing a statement that says, quote, essentially distancing himself even more here. The Duke of York has been appalled by the recent reports of Jeffrey Epstein's alleged crimes. His Royal Highness deplores the exploitation of any human being and the suggestion he would condone, participate in, or encourage any such behavior is abhorrent. Epstein and Prince Andrew were seen in 2011 strolling through Central Park together in this photo published in the James Patterson book Filthy Rich. And Prince Andrew's friendship with Epstein led him to quit his role then as Britain's special representative for trade and investment. And in this photo, you can see Prince Andrew is seen with his hand around the waist of Virginia Jufree. Now, Jufree claims she was forced to have sex with Prince Andrew when she was 17. And Jufree alleges she was flown on Epstein's private jet to London, Harris, specifically to have sex with the royal. This, all of these allegations, Buckingham Palace, and the royal family have denied Harris, but ultimately, again, another denial, another distancing as new evidence shows their relationship. All right. Brian Yanis, thank you very much for the latest on that. Of course, the breaking news, the Bureau of Prisons head is out, will be replaced. Thank you.